have an upset stomach? Have you tried milk and magnesia? What is happening when we put this inside our stomachs? Well, Chemical Kim is gonna break down the science. Milk and magnesia is actually not milk. That's crazy, we call it milk and magnesia. Milk and magnesia can act as an antacid or laxative. It looks like milk. This is just a chemical compound in water and the chemical compound is called magnesium hydroxide. And magnesium hydroxide just suspends itself in water. It's only slightly soluble in water, which means it will dissolve a little bit in water. I'm also for this experiment going to use a universal indicator and putting the universal indicator in some water Universal indicator is a mixture of several different compounds that change color at different pH levels. Now let's add the milk of magnesia to our water. Do you see that beautiful color change? The universal indicator indicates, get it? Indicator indicates that this solution is basic which is alkaline. It's just indicating the small amount of magnesium hydroxide that dissolved in the water. Next for this experiment, we need stomach acid. Give me a second. Oh, excuse me. I have my stomach acid, which is hydrochloric acid. What would be the color of the stomach acid with the acid base indicator? It is a strong acid that dissociates in water, releasing hydrogen ions. Beautiful. It's highly reactive with bases and can neutralize them. Because of the hydrochloric acid, it has turned our acid base indicator to this nice, beautiful reddish color. So let's take a look at adding a little bit of stomach acid to my milk of magnesia. So I'll just do a little squirt. <gasps> There's neutralizing. And then we look at, wait a minute. It didn't stay neutralized. It didn't stay acidic. It didn't turn, it actually went back to the original color. Well, this occurs because that small amount of magnesium hydroxide in the water first interacted with my stomach acid. And of course that's acidic. So that's why we saw that pink color. But then the colors changed back to it being basic. Only a small amount of magnesium hydroxide was in water. And I brought in actually a little bit more magnesium hydroxide because my stomach acid, the hydrochloric acid, is making my milk of magnesia, my magnesium hydroxide, more soluble in water. The fact that magnesium hydroxide is sparingly soluble in water contributes to its classification as a weak base. But it really is just the interaction of the magnesium hydroxide with the water solution and when acid is added, the solubility increases. So it makes the magnesium hydroxide more soluble in water and that little interaction does move towards a neutralization reaction. Okay, there it is. There's our, our acidic solution. Oh, it turned back. Right now with the acid base indicator in there, it is still slightly basic. So I didn't hit the point of neutralization. So I'm gonna add more of my hydrochloric acid. Do you see how it turns acidic, but then it goes back to a different color? That's because of the magnesium hydroxide that is dissolved in water interacting with my stomach acid. The hydrochloric acid, that stomach acid, is also turning this magnesium hydroxide more soluble. So more magnesium hydroxide is going into solution. Beautiful color change. As the hydroxide ions are consumed in the neutralization reaction, the equilibrium for the solubility of magnesium hydroxide is shifted to the right to replace the lost hydroxide ions. This means more solid magnesium hydroxide will dissolve to produce additional hydroxide ions. This dissolution of magnesium hydroxide helps in neutralizing the excess acid and is a key aspect of how the reaction progresses. The net result is the initial precipitation of magnesium hydroxide, which is sparingly soluble, becomes more soluble as the acid is neutralized. As the reaction continues, more magnesium hydroxide dissolves and the solution becomes less acidic. I am going to turn this solution more acidic just so you can see how the solubility has changed of the magnesium hydroxide because of the acidic environment. Were you expecting that? Did you think it was going to stay? This is incredible. These color changes are mind blowing to see the behavior of magnesium hydroxide with our stomach acid. But like I promised, I'm gonna turn this more acidic. Here we go. I have a stir rod inside my flask and I think you're going to be able to see the vortex now 
that's getting created by that stir rod and that clarity of the solution. The solution didn't start off this clear because the magnesium hydroxide is not really soluble in water. So it doesn't want to dissolve in water. But thanks to my stomach acid, the hydrochloric acid, I was able to dissolve the magnesium hydroxide. And of course, you can see by the color change, I am now an acid solution.